I'm Catherine Taltagull, I'm postdoc in Material Science and Metallurgy Department. I've been in Cambridge for nearly two years and a half. <laughs> and I'm doing a project about how volcanic ash interacts with jet engines. And during my postdoc, I got, a, I got a fellowship in a research fellowship in Clare Hall, which is a very nice college I'm enjoying a lot. <laughs> So my project is about how volcanic ash interacts with jet engines and they like big companies like Rolls Royce, EasyJet knows about how volcanic ash affects the jet engines because there's uh, a lot of events which they've seen the jet uh, the engines stop so there is obviously a problem with volcanic ash interacting with jet engines. The problem is that they don't know how it happens or how to control it, how when it's safe to fly. So my project tries to help them to understand uh, which factors affect the volcanic, uh, the addition of volcanic ash into jet engines. To do that, we have this equipment. I work in the vacuum plasma spray, which normally is used to generate coatings of ceramic coatings, in particular. But we've twisted a little bit. So what we do is try to simulate a jet engine. And just instead of putting uh, ceramic powder, what we do is inject volcanic ash and try to determine when it tends to stick, under which conditions, in a very controlled environment. And we change one parameter each time, which is very difficult to do if we do that in a jet engine. Uh, so basically what you do here is you have a gas which generates, a, a gun, sorry, which generates a plasma, very high velocity, very high temperature, and we uh, measure temperature field, velocity field, we control the amount of powder we inject and the amount of powder it gets stuck into our surface. The idea is to model this process and see differences between different volcanic ashes studied, understand all the factors which get involved and then hopefully extrapolate it in a large full-size jet engine. Let's see if that happens. So what we have here is the real volcanic ash we were with. Uh, it gets collected from a woman from Earth Science. So we can see from right the start that the color is different. So the first thing we do is get to know the volcanic ash well. Here you can actually see that they are different, Oops, like this. So the first thing we do is to process it. So we want to control particle size and then it's our little kit. So we have to know the composition, uh, thermal properties. So uh, we control all the chemistry and properties of the material before we analyze if it gets stuck or not. And to uh, analyze it to get stuck, we have a substrate like this, and this is the real sample we use. So we locate that inside a big machine, and we spray the ash at a certain amount, and we see which of those gets stuck more easily under similar conditions. So I'm basically working in two different labs, the process lab you'll see afterwards, and when Mm, we have to prepare samples or things don't make sense. We jumped into this lab and we tried to do other kind of experiments. Here we have an RF unit, a gas gun, which is going to give us a little bit insights on how volcanic ash behaves. So basically what you have is compressed air, so you let it go and it gives a very high speed. So in our volcanic ash experiments, what we've done is create a pellet of each of the ashes and see with a high-speed camera how it, be, how it behaves when it impacts at a high velocity and high temperature into a substrate. Doing this, we can understand the viscosity behavior of each of the ashes, which is going to give us 
a little bit inside of which one tends to stick much more than the other ones and it's going to help us to understand the result we've been getting in the vacuum plasma spray system. It's a very nice project, it's very uh, catching for the people because they've been, most of them have been in the, two, well, they've, they've heard about the 2010 event where a lot of people got in the ground yeah. waiting for their flight to hmm, go. Uh, so people understand a lot which kind of research is not, it's not fully scientific, though our point of view obviously it is science. We try to just change one thing at a time to understand in a very basic fundamental knowledge how the volcanic ash stucks, which are the mechanisms, which are the crucial temperatures, crucial gas velocities, crucial properties which get involved in understanding the process. So hopefully we can create a safety criteria for in any event of a new volcanic eruption to happen, we have a clear idea what to do and it's not going to be as messy as it was before. Maybe you don't need to stop flying throughout the whole Europe, but you need to know which kind of safety level you need to apply in each of the cases. So my research is going to help to actually understand that and be, have a little bit more of information. And information is power. I actually love Clear Hall. Uh, they gave me an opportunity because, as a postdoc, you come here with no kind of affiliation, college affiliation, and a lot of life uh, social things are happening in colleges in Cambridge. It's a very particular environment. So, I decided to apply for the research fellowship. I got it, I was very pleased, and it gave me an, an extra enjoyment in Cambridge. So, I don't live in college, but anyway, I tend to use to the um, formals on Wednesday. Claire Hall has the fame of being like the best in food, which I totally agree. <laughs> the food is really nice and I've been through other colleges. Um, and then the environment, I love it because it's not this 18 year old environment, it's not undergrad environment. So the kind of talks, the kind of relationship you establish is much more different than if you go to undergrad then it's very international, there is pretty much no British people around which I don't have a problem with but it is a very international environment and everyone is very open uh, and everyone is very interesting, everyone is doing so many things getting involved in so many things that I just love it I gave one talk for the students, um, how was that, uh, students, students fellows talks, uh, then I gave another talk in the Clare Hall colloquium which was very successful, a lot of people attend, a lot of questions, I was very pleased with how people react to my talk uh, and it's always a great experience to go to Clare Hall. got involved in the rowing which was very surprising to see a research fellow rowing, but um, I don't have a problem with it and I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, we've done a great season <laughs> and I just love the rowing itself, all the girls who were with me. I just have nice words for Claire Hall. They gave me, like, me the social bit I was missing a little bit in Cambridge uh, and a great environment to live in. And I'm just very happy to be part of it.